evening traders, this is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the S&P E-mini futures. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. The following are examples of trade setups that can occur on a regular basis. We are showing eight valid trade setups for a potential profit of 34 ES ticks. The market opened up this morning at 1126, represented by this white dotted line. We don't usually trade from 930 until 945, it's considered a no trade zone just due to the volatility. Coming out of the no trade zone, we had an opportunity to get long. Target 1 and Target 2 were hit for a total of 11 ES ticks. The numbers written in, in yellow are actually according to the trade plan, but outside of the parameters. And so sometimes we take them, sometimes we don't inside the shark den. But I want you to show the setups that were occurring throughout the day. Had an opportunity to get long. Target 1 and Target 2 were hit for a total of 11 ES ticks. Market continued on. We saw a strong based on the market internals. We had an opportunity to get long, did not get filled. We had a second opportunity to get long, got our target one off, and got stopped out for minus two ticks. As the market continued on in, into the morning, we had another opportunity to get long, target one and target two for a quick eight ES ticks. And then we had a, a second opportunity to get long that we do not count for a total of 10 ticks. Target one and target two for a total of 10 ticks. Just before getting into the, the lunchtime no trade zone, we had an opportunity to get short, target one and target two for 13 ES ticks. And then just before getting into the no trade zone, we had an opportunity to get long, target one was hit, and we got stopped out for minus two ticks. This red area here is considered a no trade zone. It's a period of time of lower volume and higher volatility that we choose not to trade from 11.30 to 1.15 Eastern Standard Time. Coming out of the no trade zone, we had an opportunity to get short, target one and target two were hit as price action hit on the outside upper edge of the hourly range high. We then had an opportunity to get short. Again, this is outside of our trading plan parameters. We went short and got a full stop out, minus 16 ES ticks. Then breaking up through the hourly range high, we had an opportunity to get long. Target one was hit and we got stopped out for minus two ticks. And then the market continued on its bullish move to the upside. We took a short opportunity here, primarily because we were coming off of a shark band, which are bands we show in the trade room. Coming off the room, coming off the band, we took an opportunity to get short. Target one was hit and we got stopped out for minus two ticks. And that was it for the day. So we had a total of eight trades for a potential of 34 ES ticks. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark trading manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you and have a great evening.